What up, food tubers? Mr. Oliver here. We have an incredible dish today. We're doing a beautiful, beautiful cured salmon with amazing marinated crushed beetroots, horseradish cream. This is the dish that you want to cook for the girlfriend, the boyfriend. Get the mother-in-law around. It's going to be super, super good. We've got some beautiful, fresh salmon. There's 300 grams there. That's going to serve four people. Three heaped tablespoons of mold and sea salt goes in there. Most of that is going to come away, but we need that salt to penetrate that fish to cure it, okay? It gives you this incredible sort of waxy, delicate texture that allows you to slice it really thinly, easily, and it looks and tastes amazing. So we want to add more flavour into there. Brown sugar. One heaped tablespoon like that. Lemon zest. Orange. Half of the zest. And then we're going to use dill. That for later, but this part here, the stalks, really sweet. Slice it up and that's all going to fall off. So that's flavour for free, nothing in the bin. And then the secret ingredient, some decent vodka. One shot. This is not traditional, right, but it adds to the whole kind of flavour that we're after here. Massage up that lemon, orange, vodka, sugar. What I want to do is pack this salt onto this salmon and put the other salmon on top. Get a bit of cling film and we're simply going to wrap it up. Super tight. Put that in the fridge. I do it in the morning. By 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it's ready and raring to go. If you leave it a little bit longer, it'll just get firmer and firmer and firmer. Nine hours is fine, but five hours is optimal. This is what it looks like after five hours. It's firmed up nicely. I'm actually just going to brush this salt off. Normally in a gravel axe recipe, you would wash it off. We don't need to do that. We're going to use our dill. What I want to do is kind of create um, a little herby sort of bark on the outside. Just finely chop it. Right, and then the fish goes straight into that. See how it just coats it beautifully. Absolutely gorgeous. This goes in the fridge until you need it. What I'm gonna do now is show you how to make the beautiful horseradish sour cream and the beautiful crushed marinated beetroots. So, so simple. Roughly for four people, two heaped tablespoons of sour cream about two heaped teaspoons of horseradish. It's got to have attitude, otherwise why bother? Then half a lemon. Do you remember the one I grated? Squeeze it, catch the seeds. Nice little pinch of salt. A little bit of quality extra virgin olive oil in there. One tablespoon, mix it up. All you really need to do is taste it for seasoning and heat. Nice and hot, makes your nose go a little bit. Woohoo! Next, beetroots. Add a little balsamic vinegar. Nice pinch of salt. A little oil. I quite like crushing it and I like it being rustic. That is going to be joyful. I'm going to have a little clean up so you can fast forward. Okay, so missus is coming round, mother-in-law and the old man's coming round. If they turn up and you're hot and sweaty and look stressed, not cool. Even if you're bad with knife skills, you'll manage, you know, half or just over half a centimetre. It's nice and thin, so almost see the light through it. You've got the herb there. You know, it's fresh, but it's lightly cured. Towards the end, just kind of flare it out so you take the salmon off, because we don't want to eat that skin. The second way of doing it, take the end off, and then you're simply going to just take your knife along the bottom of the salmon, and that takes all the skin off in one. All of this you can do in advance. Okay, so we got that on the plate. Horseradish sour cream. Just gonna do a little pile there. I love the way the beets just kind of bleed into the beautiful sour cream. You've got the salmon. It's a really, really nice dish. 1980s cress, a nice bit there. Fresh dill from a height. Just pick it off, really, really nice. A little olive oil. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. If someone gives that to me, I am so chuffed. <laughs> really, really good. So good. The salmon is lightly cured, so it's got that lovely sort of waxiness that you get from things like smoked salmon and prosciutto and stuff like that. Really nice to eat. Beetroot's just sweet and gorgeous. The heat of that horseradish, so good. So, to go with this gorgeous dish for this lovely night out, how about a nice cocktail? An old Cuban? Click the box below and I'll show you just how to do it. You're gonna love it. <laughs>